All right, let's get it. So once you install more icons, you'll find a folder in your geode config with the mods ID. Here you'll find a folder for each type of icon, like the game mode and stuff. And you can place icons in here, but I'll show you how to place icons in a bit. I'm gonna get the doggy texture pack from by um, Irving Soluble, um, which you can download from this website. You can then extract the texture pack and essentially that grants you is your textures, but we want to um, look at the icons. The one icon I want to look at is this one. So one way, for example, is to put it in the geoconfig, the correct game mode for the icon. Like you have an icon with the um, P list, of course. And then you can launch the game. So once you launch the game, um, you can select your icon, and you'll be able to use it in your levels. I almost forgot to talk about icons with individual sprites. So essentially, what you could do is, for example, um, with the robot thirteen. You can go into GD Colon's texture splitter and you can import your um, PLIS file. Let me find the robot. And essentially you can view all the stuff and then you can download all the textures into a zip file and then you can extract them into your geo config i'm gonna make a separate folder called robot underscore 13 and i'm going to um extract it to there now we have the uh, robot here and we can reload the textures and now we have our robot here i'm also going to show you how um like if any of you are texture pack creators um i'm also going to show you how you put your icons in your own texture packs so they can be loaded by more icons so for example if you go to config geo texture loader and packs you can you can um and in the root of your texture pack you create a um pack.json And basically what the um, pack.json contains is your metadata for the texture pack. For, for example, the minimum texture loader version, the um, pack name, And also the um, pack version and author. Um, I forgot to add these. And essentially what that gives you is impact metadata 
and you really need that for more icons to actually detect the um this folder here config and more icons that's the folder you need what you would also need if you're like redesigning icons per se is that you would need to find the um icons folder in geometry dash which contains all the resources for all the icons in this case i'll be using player 04 be careful that maximum resolution on android is hd unless you have the high graphics on android mod so if you're redesigning icons make sure you include the hd as well if you're planning on making it usable for android users basically what you can do with this um you, you can use like some photo editing software. I use paint.net. I'm going to do an example. Beautiful, I know. What we then do is we save it. So once you launch the game, You can um, apply your texture pack, and sure enough, your redesigned icon. God, di okay, I forgot to um put it in the um icon. Folder, cause it's it's got to be in the game mode folder for it to work, and sure enough, it works. I can also show you how to do trails as well. With trails, you can just create an image or you can grab it from a texture pack and then drag it in the trail folder and it'll load it for you. Or you can do the same process except there's no icon keyless. It's just a PNG file. In fact, it's actually easy to design a trail. Let me do it myself. It's actually easy to design a trail. Let me do it myself. Yeah, it's a bit slanted, but whatever. It's not supposed to be perfect. And then you save your custom trail to your config and then the um, trail folder. Then you can reload the game. No, reload the textures. And what do you know, we have our we have our stupid slanted trail in here. And we can use it in our levels. So basically that's more icons. If there's anything I missed, then let me know in the comments down below. So I'll see you.